Hi, I'm Rick Streaker, Packard's National Training Coordinator. I've got Joey Lamanek with me today, and Joey's our product engineer. And we're going to talk about transformers. No, not those little things that change their shape and everything, but these are electrical transformers. We're going to have Joey educate us on these things today. Joey, we got a lot of different looking transformers here. We do. Are they each for a very particular application? Each one may have been designed for a very particular application, but at its core, a transformer does some very simple things. Uh, this one may look completely different than this one. It's completely possible. They produce the same effect. Okay, all right. Well, what, what is a transformer? What, what does it do? Transformers are actually fairly simple. Uh, a transformer has two separate coils that are independent of each other, so there won't be continuity between a primary side and a secondary side. A specific voltage on your primary side induces a voltage in your secondary side, and that's based on and designed by the number of coils, the number of turns in that coil, as well as the distance from that coil to the secondary coil and the number of turns in that secondary coil. Now I notice on a lot of these they have different voltages. So this one says 208, 240, 480. This one says 120. This one says 120, 208, 240. Does that mean because this one says 120, 208, 240, my application has, has to have all three of those voltages available? For this? Of course not, no. Okay. Transformers are typically designed to hit more than one target application. Okay. Therefore, you stock one and you can apply that across multiple situations. Uh, each pair of leads is associated with one voltage or another uh, on your primary side as well as your secondary side. Now, I see that on here and I see this PRI and I see SEC. What are those? PRI is going to be your primary side, which is your source voltage. SEC is going to be your secondary side. That's your reduced voltage that's going to go to typically a switch or controller of some sort. Okay, all right. So why do they look so different? Every application is a little bit different. Um, you may have one that fits easier with a foot mount. Uh, you may have a different one that fits better with a, a multi-mounting plate. Um, a lot of that has to do with mounting and each particular situation. Okay, all right. So how do I select one? Well, first you need to determine your source voltage. That, that's gonna be your primary. And then the critical second feature is your secondary voltage, the voltage you need your transformer to create. Okay. The third part of that is always going to be your VA rating. Your VA rating is a capacity. It's uh, quite literally volts times amps. So this says 75 VA. That doesn't mean 75 volts AC? It does not, no. Okay, so what does that really mean then? 75 VA. 75 VA on is the capacity on your secondary side of your transformer. If you have, for math's sake, a five volt, five amp load on your secondary side, okay, you multiply that five amps times your voltage, okay, and that gives you your VA rating. Okay, so this one, this says 75 VA. It has a secondary voltage of 24. So I would operate on my secondary, off of my secondary coil, devices that operate on 24 volts. Correct. Is that right? And then I could operate devices up to 75 VA. And that would be determined by taking the amp rating on that device and taking those amps and multiplying them by the 24 volts. Correct. And I can operate up to 75 VA. Correct. That. Okay, good. So, can you explain all these different wires on here? All these, and this one doesn't even have wires on it. 
this f y in fact this one this one this one and this one they all have wires coming out of two different sides why doesn't this have wires coming out of two different sides strictly construction uh, they're all going to essentially have the same components they're all two coils whether the the wires come out of one side or the other separated okay. by distance and laminations okay so they're just taking both the, the wires off of those coils and bringing them out the same side. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Good. So some of these have multiple secondaries. Why is that? To give you additional options on your secondary side as well. Okay. This particular one allows for 24 volts or 120 volts on the secondary side based on which pairs of leads you choose. Okay. Can you, can you show me how I connect these leads, Joey? Let's say that I have an application where my source voltage is 240 volts and I want 120 volts going to a particular product to operate it. How would I select the right wires and what do I do with all of these wires. So with a 240 volt primary, you're going to need orange and white. White's your common. If you pull the orange and white leads, the okay. rest of them on your primary side need to be insulated. How would you do that? Let's say I'm not using... A wire nut's a great way to do it. Okay, uh, good. Any way to cap off that wire so it can't touch anything. Okay. And now on your secondary side, if you need 120 volts, you need to pick out the white slash black wire as well as the blue, which is your common on your secondary okay. side. So those two. So when I apply 240 volts to my primary, to these two, now I get 120 volts out of my secondary. That is correct. And then I would put just caps, just wire nuts on these to protect Absolutely. those. Absolutely, yes. Okay, very good. That's great. So with a transformer then, with the design of that transformer, I have two different coils in there. I have a primary coil and I have a secondary coil. And the ratings for those coils are shown on the nameplates. Absolutely. Of each of the transformers. Your nameplate will always indicate which terminals you need to use for both primary and secondary. Okay. And so I just select the primary, my source voltage, and I select my secondary voltage. And I, I connect it according to the colors shown on the nameplate of this. And then I can apply up to the VA rating that is shown on the transformer. And that transformer will be able to power those particular devices and up to that. That's correct. Good, great. You've made it a lot easier makes it easy looking at these transformers. I hope it helps out. We appreciate you coming to the Packard Academy and hope you come back to join us again soon. Thanks.